BTEC Applied Science Unit 5 Blood and Blood Vessels. I'm going to cover quite a few different things in this video, but it's mostly to do with arteries and veins and blood. Uh, you should revise the topics in the Unit 1 biology to do with this as well. So, arteries and veins. What are the differences between them? Well, arteries go away from the heart, from the heart to the body. Uh, the blood is high pressure because it's been pumped by the heart. The pressure is very high. Uh, it has lots of oxygen, this blood. The, the thing on the red blood cells which carries the oxygen is called hemoglobin. And when it's bonded with oxygen, oxyhemoglobin is a bright red color. Um, arteries are protected. Uh, they are deep inside the body. Okay, if you look at the outside of your body, like on your wrist, you can actually see your veins under the skin, but your arteries are deep inside the body. Because the blood they carry is more precious, because if you cut an artery, the blood would come squirting out. If you cut a vein, the blood trickles out because the pressure in a vein is a lot lower. Uh, so uh, veins go from the body to the heart. Uh, the blood pressure is low, uh, which is why they have valves. Talk a bit more about them in a bit. Uh, the blood has less oxygen, so it's a dark red color. And veins are closer to the surface. Capillaries are between the arteries and the veins and they actually take the blood to and from the cells of your body. So they are lots and lots and lots of very, very thin, small blood vessels which actually take the blood to where it's needed. And that's where the gas exchange takes place or rather that's where uh, the diffusion takes place where food and oxygen goes into your cells and carbon dioxide and water comes out of your cells, capillaries, not gas exchange, that's in the lungs. Um, the structure of arteries and veins and capillaries, I've covered this in another video. Um, the lumen is the bit in the middle, the cavity in the middle, and that is larger in veins. Uh, the blood pressure is smaller and it flows slower, okay? Uh, the inner layer is the endothelium, uh, and they all have an endothelium. Uh, capillaries are basically just an endothelium. They're a single layer of squamous endothelial cells, uh, and this enables diffusion, okay? Dif lots of diffusion because it's such a thin layer, things can diffuse easily through it. There is a muscle layer, muscle and elastin. Uh, which is thicker in arteries, and it needs to be because the pressure is higher. In fact, in some major arteries, uh, the artery actually helps to pump the blood. There is a pulse in the artery itself. It helps to pump the blood. So the pressure is higher, uh, a thicker muscle layer, and then an outer collagen layer for protection. We mentioned valves before. Veins have got valves because the pressure in veins can be very low and it's to stop the veins from flowing, the blood from flowing backwards. Um, on the back of your legs, as you get old, you may suffer from varicose veins. Uh, the blood has to go up your leg towards your heart uh, and the pressure is low so it needs valves to stop it from flowing backwards and as you get old a condition is that these valves can start getting a bit bulgy i'm not going to put a photo up there uh, i'm not going to say look at your granny's legs either find an find your own photo google it varicose veins uh, i'm not going to talk about the ECG trace, the PQRST trace, because I've already done a video on it. Uh, could you revise that and be able to relate that to the cardiac cycle? In other words, this is your atrial, systole and diastole and all that stuff. Okay, so understand this trace 
and what's happening at the various bits on my other video. Now, arrhythmia. Arrhythmia is an abnormality, as in rhythm is good. A rhythm or a rhythm is bad. A rhythm is a, an abnormality in the heart's rhythm. And some of these can just be uncomfortable and some of them can be fatal. Uh, and you can investigate them by doing an ECG. So you put these electrodes in the right place on a person's chest and you look at a trace uh, and then the doctor or the nurse can say, oh, you've got a problem there. Now, the ones that you need to know, we've got tachycardia, where the heart beats too fast, uh, and bradycardia, where the heart beats too slow. Now, normal heart rate for most people, for a healthy person at rest, is between 60 and 100 beats per minute. So for a normal person, if it's greater than that at rest, that's tachycardia, uh, and if it's less than that, at rest, then that's bradycardia. Sinus arrhythmia. Now, this is when you breathe in, your heart rate increases, and when you breathe out, your heart rate decreases, which sounds a bit weird. Uh, apparently, it's quite common in teenagers, and it's usually nothing to worry about. But that is sinus arrhythmia. Uh, ventricular fibrillation uh, and this is when the signals that go to the ventricles are rapid and chaotic and the muscles of the ventricles quiver they don't go beat 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 they go Brrr. okay uh, and you're having a heart attack this might be caused by uh, possibly a, a blockage of a coronary artery um, can cause ventricular fibrillation so fibrillation is when it's not beating properly uh, and it's it's basically not pumping blood you're having a heart attack uh, and this can be fatal you need a defibrillator uh, and a defibrillator shocks the heart and hopefully stops it from uh, fibrillating uh, lastly flat line and if it your the trace is a flat line then you don't have a heartbeat uh, and if you're not dead now then you probably will be pretty soon okay uh, and you don't shock somebody if the flat lining well you could try but basically the, the defibrillator that the paddles are to stop the heart from fibrillating if the heart isn't beating at all if it's a flat line then there's not much the, the doctors can do about that This is interesting. Here are some traces. Now, the one at the top, let's say, is a, a normal heartbeat. So any idea what the other ones are based on what I've just been talking about on the last slide? So pause the video, have a look. Can you figure out what's going on? And the answers are, OK, so tachycardia, it's beating too fast. Bradycardia, beating too slow. Uh, sinus arrhythmia. Can you see that it kind of speeds up and slows down a bit? Uh, ventricular fibrillation, it's all over the place. Uh-oh, uh, uh the last one, flatline. Blood transfusion. Let's say you've been in an accident and you've lost a lot of blood. Uh, and that's obviously a big, big problem. Luckily, there's, there are nice people who donate their blood. And if you go to hospital, uh, they'll give you some of their blood, okay? Or rather, the doctors, nurses will. Uh, and uh, that can save your life, keep you alive. Now, you may not be able to receive anybody's blood because there are different blood types. Uh, and if you get the wrong type of blood, uh, that could kill you. There could be a reaction between the the chemicals and the proteins uh, your blood vessels might start sticking together and stuff it could be very very bad and kill you so what are the blood types uh, the ABO rhesus system uh, rhesus is actually a type of monkey and it's the, the the first experiments that were done the way that this was figured out 
is from experiments done with rhesus monkeys and rabbits, apparently. Now, uh, your blood group is determined by what antibodies and antigens, antigens are present in your blood. And basically you inherit that from your parents. It's genetic, okay? Uh, the four main blood groups are A, B, AB, and O. And O is the most common. Uh, about half of the UK population, including me, are type O. Um, each group can be either positive or negative, rhesus positive or rhesus negative. Uh, and if your red cells have the RHD antigen, then you're positive and about 85% of the UK are positive. So, as I said, you can't just get blood from anybody. Now, you don't need to learn this table. Maybe you'll be given this table in the exam and you'll have to interpret it. But you can see there's the different types for the donor. There's the different types for the, the recipient. Uh, I would remember that O is the most common blood type. Uh, and anybody looking at the table can be given O negative blood. Okay, so when you're donating your blood, the, uh, the, the hospital's most happy if it gets O negative blood because they can give that to anybody.